bit worn away in the plaster, you just try and build it up again. If any chips or not. Okay, it's got a message I'm just going to get back to. It. So I'll be back in a minute. Get, getting quite a, a bit of detail now. That's the eternal flame the lady's holding. It's religious. And I'm not sure that's symbolic too. That holding that urn, I think, or whatever it is, I'm not sure. I'll have to find, look into that. And there's a sheet of sheet of wheat there. And other symbols and old very old symbols. And again and uh, got a lot of nice detail in those and those uh, leaves. And nice scroll work was done originally on this. And there's a boy with the uh, laurel wreath. He's actually it needs to be fixed up there a bit too. I'll probably sand it back down a bit. That's all coming together. Uh, a very nice middle. I've stuck some paper down there in the back and that's got to be filled up with plaster there and neatly sort of finished off but I won't be doing that. Uh, Basis, the backing for it. Okay, here's a close up. Let's, uh, making those all those sharp of those lines. Very nice original scroll work was done on this, and the detail the detail is superb. The creases in the ladies' clothes. Yeah. Just continually uh, making these sharper and brushing it out and, and, and just keep on doing and doing this almost but you to draw the line somewhere and before it's um, moulded it should have a blowout get any dust out or And once that part's done, we just give it a brush and trying to get that excess out. And it's slowly gets sharper and sharper and cleaner and cleaner. Arrows. And these beaten, uh, this is called beaten reel, this pattern around the outside. Let's get a It's a bead 
and the round part is a bead and that's like the cotton wheel I imagine got a lot of names the old shapes there's a bit missing there a little cockroach here to make themselves at home I'll move him down the drain like okay Very nice wreath there. Another one over there. A beautiful bit of carving there. Okay, this mesh paper just what you'd buy for an old sanding block. Good, very gentle, quite gentle, and shapes things up a bit. Not as not as severe as a sandpaper. All blends up reasonably well for a body. Be good to. like opened out there just comes off a sanding block quite handy and you've got to put it in water and when it gets clogged up you've got to brush it out give it a good clean and water it also okay. okay i'm pretty well tidied up around the edges the rest of it i've just got to do the center now what i'm using i'm using a syringe to get the plaster up and these bits here have got to be level with the bottom so just syringing some plaster in there. I'm going to shape it up with a little brush just so we can get those indentations when the silicon is poured. So I put some backing on there earlier with the paper. Be a bit messy, maybe pouring it. There'll be about various other sort of contain it, things you could squirt and use to do that something like they use for cakes too but this is, seems to be working okay it's just a syringe out of um, where you fill, refill your cartridges on your printer I'm using just a relatively thin mix it is I'm going to get a very small paintbrush and brush that just into shape as it's going off here. And it's going to be ready to drop off finally.
We might just make a little bit more round here as well. That hole for the light. Better. Okay, I'll look for a little paintbrush to brush all these little spots in this shape now. Alright, here we have two, two little brushes, they should do the trick. I just want to sort of move that plaster around a bit there. What exacting work this would be worth it to see a nice mould for this road available or people can buy it. Well, it's good to put a bit back into the industry it is, I think. We're going to have to let it sort of mm, shape this up as it's drying too. We can roughly brush it in into shape as it is now. But um, to get it finished properly we're going to have to uh, let it dry. Okay, I'll let that sit for a minute. This will be a vented rose when it's done, so we've got to make the level of this plaster poured in just at the bottom of these leaves. So when someone's making it, they'll work the plaster up to up to the top of the um, bits of silicon that will go there, the silicon rubber, mm -hmm. so 
this little paint shop with all the holes back in it again like it was originally. Top up, and when the light goes through, I'm making a circle. Okay, that's coming out pretty good. Um, yeah, so there's the royal reefs. Sheath of wheat, very symbolic. That's the eternal flame. The lady's holding the hands over there. There's the flame there. I'm not sure of, I've yet to discover what this image is. Maybe mother and child. There's Jesus. The child looks quite big, so maybe something else. And it looks like water here, so very interesting that one. 